This is an educational film about acute renal failure. To begin, a poem on the subject of kidneys. For God's sake, me belly ache. The doctor said it's me kidney. He said he's got a stick of tube up me knob. I said you got to be kidding me. <laughs> For God's sake, knob ache. <laughs> also known as acute kidney injury. Acute renal failure can be defined as a rapid loss of kidney function. The causes of acute renal failure can be divided into pre-renal, intrinsic and post-renal depending upon where the pathology is. Pre-renal causes are due to hypoperfusion and include hypovolemia, sepsis, heart failure and renal artery stenosis. Intrinsic causes result from damage to renal tubule cells due to some form of insult. What a knobhead. No, not that kind of insult, you fool. Insults include ischemia or toxicity due to drugs such as aminoglycosides and tetracyclines. Contrast agents, uric acid crystals and hemoglobinuria may also cause toxicity. Other causes of intrinsic damage include vasculitis and malignant hypertension. Postrenal acute kidney failure results from urinary tract obstruction, which may be due to benign prostatic hyperplasia, kidney stones or some form of urinary tract malignancy. A patient presenting with acute renal failure may describe a history of malaise. Anorexia, nausea, vomiting, pruritus, drowsiness, all may present with convulsions. Or coma. The clinical features of acute renal failure are edema and the signs of the cause and complications. There are a number of useful investigations which may be performed, but remember that in an acute situation, they should be done in a way which fits into the ABC approach to management. Useful blood tests could include full blood count, urea and electrolytes, liver function tests, ESR or CRP, arterial blood gases, clotting, blood culture, blood film, creatine kinase and urate. A urine dipstick, looking for hematuria and proteinuria, may be of use. as would a urine culture, a chest x-ray, an ECG to look for tented T waves indicative of hyperkalemia, and a renal ultrasound. As previously mentioned, an ABC approach should be used, followed by monitoring of U and E's, temperature, pulse, blood pressure, oxygen saturation, urine output and weight. Treatment of the complications should also be started. Possible complications include the previously mentioned hyperkalemia, acidosis, pulmonary edema and gastric ulcers. Further to this, if the cause is known, this should also be treated. For example, antibiotics for sepsis, or fluids for hypovolemia. It may also be necessary to provide hemofiltration, dialysis and nutritional support. This was B. Brian Butterfield six months ago before starting my diet plan. But just look at me now. I feel like a new man thanks to the Butterfield diet. The results have been incredible. No one here. Oh, sorry. The results have been incredible. Okay, here's your weekday plan. Breakfast, one cornflake, toasted with low-fat spread. Drink hot water. Lunch. 
small raw potato, peeled. Salad, mini lettuce leaf. Drink, room temperature water. Dinner, square of low-fat turkey breast. Baked bean in low-fat tomato sauce. Broccoli shavings. Drink, chilled water. Pudding, ice cubes and artificial sweetener. Follow this diet to the letter, every day. Then, at the weekend, it's time for a reward. Saturday is treat day. For 24 hours, you can literally eat anything. Pizza, birthday pie, pints of cream, pork cylinders, potato grids, artificial bacon, large macs. You name it. Sandwich casserole, chocolate quail's eggs, garlic pudding, fluffy ruffs, hoisin crispy owl, pasta pillows, bon 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 bons, McFortune cookies. It's up to you. Discount foie gras, egg and ham slabs, during dinner mints, mystery meat, quiches Lorraine, 20 cheese omelette. Anything goes. Just remember, you've only got 24 mm. hours and not a second longer. Mm. Sunday is your rest day. Ugh. These trousers are so loose. I think I may need to buy a new belt. The Butterfield Diet Plan. Order it exclusively online at www full stop Butterfield Diet full stop com. Call now. Uh, thank you, Brian. Thank you. Patient's prognosis depends on the number of other organs involved and on the cause. That ends this educational film, thank you for watching.